All right, so where did One Shepherd get its name, right? I mean, truth is, we weren't always called One Shepherd. We've been called that for a long time, but if you go way back to the 1980s, we were called the Weston War Games. Uh, we were named after a small town in northwest Missouri called Weston. Go figure. But in 1995, um, we began to transition to something far more significant. We began to transition to a school, a warrior monastery. And so we realized we needed a name that like embodied that significance. And so about that same time, Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman published his work on killing. I think that was 1995. And shortly thereafter, he articulated an analogy of the sheep, the wolf, and the sheepdog. Now, the analogy goes like this. The sheep, in the analogy, are the people, the masses of the people, but not a pejorative. Uh, here he means, and I certainly believe he means, that the sheep are the best people on the face of the planet. They're the most productive, they're incredibly brilliant, they're innovative, they're the movers and shakers, they get things done. And so this is a very good thing in his analogy to be a sheep. But the sheep have a problem. They want safety because there are wolves. There are predators that literally feed on them. And so in comes the sheepdog. And the sheepdog looks like the wolf. He's got long teeth. He's got sharp claws, powerful, fast feet. And so the sheepdog looks amazingly a lot like the wolf, but has made a different choice. Rather than preying on the sheep, the sheepdog hunts wolves to protect the sheep. Understandably, it makes the sheep nervous. And so there's this whole dynamic, and Grossman covers this brilliantly. Well, I think that really rung true with us in the mid-1990s, and we started to say, you know, people aren't animals. You're born a sheepdog. You're born a wolf. You're born a sheep. But humans are born humans, and no one's born a sheepdog. So you have to, you have to volunteer. You have to feel that calling and come to it. But even then, it doesn't come naturally. You need to be taught. You need to be mentored into this. You need a shepherd. And so one shepherd came out from that experience, and that's where we get our name. Where there are sheepdogs, there are shepherds. Okay. Soon after that, the regimental patch emerged. That's our school crest. And the regimental patch is carefully thought out to reflect that philosophy of shepherd. What you see really is two red arrows coming together on a horizontal plane. And those red arrows are aggression. They are the force on force nature of our school. That's how we learn. You, this is all on a white background and the white is integrity. Integrity is uh, choosing to do the hard things. Choosing to to do those hard things, not to take the easy path and to be honest about it, uh, you know, to avoid cheating. So the integrity is a critical part of what we teach and who we are, our culture. The next is gold, and you'll see this big gold one come out of it. Well, gold is a no-brainer. Throughout time, uh, gold um, uh, symbolizes value. Um, and so what comes out of that force-on-force -force environment? Well, um, what comes out of that is what we call uh, our motto, and it is one warrior, one leader, and one shepherd. Uh, so that's the gold. And then you'll see in gold, you'll see the, the text, follow me, on a blue background. Now that harkens back to the infantry traditions um, because we do use dismounted or light infantry uh, patrolling tactics uh, to embed our warriors and our warrior leaders into it. Um, and then finally, you'll see the black border. And that's not accidental either. Black is a warning. It's a warning that what we le learn here can be used for evil, um, that when you come here, you must clear your heart of darkness. Um, you must come here for the brotherhood. Um, I'd say it like this. Uh, there's the old, I think, Japanese uh, adage of, you'd rather be the warrior in the garden than the gardener in battle. And so that's what our regimental patch means. Um, I have to be real clear here. I, I should be real clear here. And that is that we are not certifying MOSs. We are not making infantrymen or special forces. This is not what we do. Instead, we are developing warrior leaders and warrior scholars. 
That's our story. Come be a part of our story.